All right, everyone, so today we're going to see what is a dividend. So how does it work? So there's a declaration date on which the company announces the next dividend. And then we have the ex-dividend date. And this is an important date because only the investors who purchase the stock before the ex-dividend date are entitled to receive the next dividend payment. In other words, if you buy the stock one day after the dividend date, so let's say here until the payment date, you will not receive the payment and then we have the record date and this is simply the day on which the company checks its records to identify the shareholders of the company and the next date is the payment date which is the date in which you will receive your dividend some companies pay dividends annually or semi-annually but most of the time it's usually paid quarterly now what is a dividend yield dividend yield is the percentage return of an asset paid over one year so basically it is the amount of a dividend divided by the price of one share multiplied by 100. Now let's see this in an example. So here we have the dividend yield It's equal to the amount of the dividend. In our case it's 68 cents which is divided by the price of one share $25 multiplied by 100. This gives us a dividend yield of 2 and 72 percent. Here we have Coca-Cola from Yahoo Finance and we can see here that the dividend yield is 3.03 percent annually. So how much exactly am I receiving? Let's say I have 50 shares of Coca-Cola and the price is $55 for each share. My dividend yield is 3.03% annually. So if I use the formula that I used earlier, I get $83.33 after one year of holding the stock. And this goes on and on every year. Some important points about dividends is that dividends are not guaranteed. So it's not very really common that the company is going to stop or reduce their dividends, but it can happen. Dividends are considered stable. So when the market is not doing very good, stock prices tend to decrease, but the dividends are going to be more stable, which is also a reason why dividend investment is a good way to make passive income. 